Hey guys, Jason here, joined by Andrew for another Duel Masters TCG deck profile. As you can see here, today's deck is going to be an internet favorite, though I don't know why, Hydro Hurricane. So Hydro Hurricane, otherwise known as Guardian Control, is a concept that has been around for a long time. You know, you play light, water, darkness, you summon a bunch of blockers, you play Hydro Hurricane, it's a good time for you, not your opponent. <laughs> However, I feel like I was one of the biggest skeptics of Hydro Hurricane based on the lists that I saw online. I just wasn't too impressed. Uh, I felt like they didn't really work when I tried them out. But I have to shout out our friends at German Duel Masters, who really, I feel like, put this deck on the map. I think it is Hymna, who is the main uh, proponent of Hydro Hurricane. Our list is very much based on his list. Uh, this is just our, I guess, interpretation with slight adjustments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, before we get into it, we do have to shout out German Duel Masters for making Hydro Hurricane work. Yeah, they kind of took the hard work out of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So starting off, we have four copies of Pala Elisa's Morning Guardian. So this is, in my opinion, one of the most important cards of the deck. Uh, sometimes I don't really feel like calling this Hydro Hurricane. I feel like Guardian <laughs> Control is the more appropriate term because the Guardians are the ones that put in a lot of the hard work. But mm -hmm. may maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later. Palolesis gives your other guys a power boost. Pretty neat. Um, it can be super annoying if you stack a lot of Palolesis effects together. Now, joining Palolesis and a slight deviation from our usual presentation, we've got three copies of Petrova Chandler of Sons. It's not a gauntlet format season thingy if we don't have Petrova. <laughs> So Petrova, pick a race. More often than not, it's Guardian. <laughs> Give it a 4k power boost. So the combination of Petrova and Palo Elisis is truly devastating. You know, you just call Guardian with this. This powers up Petrova. It's just super annoying. Yeah, and your opponent also can't get rid of Petrova with any um, hard removal spells because they can't target it. Now, uh, continuing with the deviation from our mana curve, let's talk about some more Guardians. What would a Guardian deck be without Nebarius Chalwachter? <laughs> so, because we took inspiration from German Duel Masters, we are trying to place a few copies of some German cards as a tribute <laughs> to them. I'm sorry for butchering the pronunciation. Nebarius is one of the most important cards of the deck. Uh, you just use them, you stick them, and then you just summon a bunch of weenies and snowballs from there. So I can't stress how important uh, Mysterious is in this deck. You really do need to stick one because you don't really have many other card generating cards. So you're not running like Alpha Hocus, um, you're only running uh, copies of Energy Stream. So sticking Mysterious does make or break the deck. Now we talked about playing weenies, you know, sometimes playing Palolesis when Mysterious out is fine, but you know, I think what makes it very even better is a uh, Laura Giga, you know, only costs one mana. It's a guardian, benefits from the power boost. And, you know, sometimes I feel like we should play more copies of Laura Giga, but it's also a brick sometimes. So <laughs> that's why we settled on two copies. But you know what, Andrew? This is the real reason we're, we're playing this deck. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I know Hydro Hurricane got a very cold reception from the Gauntlet staff when, when it was first talked about. But the reason we have it here is so we can have a good deck that plays Maru Ooze the Twister. <laughs> We talked about Hydro Hurricane at the start of the video. It has an effect that triggers off darkness, and Hydro and Marrow Ooze is that body for it. And again, you know, it's it's very cheap, so if you played with Mysterious out, it just helps build that board. And a very funny interaction is that with Palo Elysis, Marrow Ooze can actually kill stuff. And it, and it <laughs> doesn't get die. blocked yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the next part of the deck, uh, I feel like we've been talking a lot about expensive cards, but these are just the most important cards. Some cheaper cards, we have one copy of Miraculous Snare. So Jason, why are you only playing one copy of Miraculous Snare? <laughs> uh, well, Miraculous Snare is a card that I personally don't like. I think it makes the format a lot less interactive and a lot less fun. I think once a deck just spams enough Miraculous Snares, the other person can't play. Yep. So this card is going on our Hall of Fame, shall we say. So we're restricting it to one copy per deck. Gauntlet Hall of Fame. <laughs> Call it Hall of Fame, exactly. <laughs> but we would otherwise have played three copies of Miraculous Snare. So what we replace the other two copies with, well, what is another 
three mana water light card. <laughs> not two copies of Tajamal Vizier of Aqua. So I think this card doesn't really fit in Hydro Hurricane most of the time when you have access to your full lineup of Miraculous Snare, but I think for now it does the job. And previously we had Hide and Seek instead of uh, Tajamal, just because it's a form of spot removal, but that didn't go so well. I find that being a light mana source is actually really important. Sometimes it's not bad to just charge the Tajamal or the Miraculous Snare at the beginning of the game, because if you notice, all of the hard casts you're doing are light. So yeah. you want to play your Mysterious, your Petrova, your Palalisas as soon as you can, and just having that extra light source helps. You know, sometimes Tajamal is not bad. It's a fairly big body, and it's yeah. Well, it gives it annoys Baz. Yeah, it gives Fire Dex uh, a, a headache. So some more early drops. Andrew mentioned. Uh, I think Andrew mentioned Energy Stream earlier. Uh, just you know, more draw cards. I don't think it's reasonable to rely on Mysterious alone to draw cards. So we are running three copies of Energy Stream. Now another card which has an understated importance, in my opinion, is Locomotiver. I think Locomotiver is an extremely good card in this deck. Uh, I think playing it on four is just really annoying for the opponent. Like let's say you're able to stick a Palo Alesis on three, and then you just play your Locomotiver on four, and then suddenly your, your opponent is down on cards and you have time to set up your Mysterious mm, yeah. or your Petrova or whatever. It's also a shield trigger, and it's also a darkness body for Hydro Hurricane. Something we've been trending towards lately, or maybe we've always trended towards it, is playing some janky one-offs. So here we have more janky one-offs. We have one Foul Ega Dawn Guardian. We have one Thrash Crawler. We have a Glen of Yule. And we have, aside from Maru's, <laughs> the other reason to play this deck, Zombie Carnival. So Foul Ega is just really useful for recycling your spells. Maybe you, you whiff your Mysterious. You can just grab your energy stream from your graveyard and draw more cards, keep the flow going. Uh, sometimes, you know, you had to blow your Miraculous Snare early. Foul Ego can grab that back. And, you know, maybe Hydro Hurricane later in the game, or I guess Holy Awe, which yeah. we'll talk about a little later. Very yeah. important. Foul Ego is a card that I really like in this deck. Honestly, I would be open to playing more than one copy. Maybe I could replace the Glenna for another Foul. But space is just really tight. Yeah. I think um, Foul also, you know, it can get your zombie carnivals back so you have infinite resources <laughs> as well. Uh, so yeah, so a lot of cool combos with, with Foul. And, you know, these, these combos are kind of what makes control decks so good as well. Now, Thrash Crawler, uh, the reason we play Thrash Crawler, well, there's two reasons. One is that we might need to recycle a clutch spell for later in the game. Perhaps that is, you know, more often than not, it should be Hydro Hurricane or Holy Aw. The main reason we play Thrash is actually because it's water. I think Bellix the Explorer is a pretty good fit uh, for yes. this deck, mm -hmm. but I thought I just needed that extra water count. I think we're currently sitting at 10 water, including the multi sieve. For Glenavule, it's just a really big body. Uh, it doesn't really require much setup in the way that Petrova does. So you can just use Glenna to revenge kill stuff. It notably gets over things like Warlord Elzonius, Fighter Duel Fang, Bazigazil can't kill it. And it's also the only double breaker in this deck. Um, this deck can be quite passive. Quite often we just resort to deck out as the win condition, but if you're looking to take a more proactive approach, then having the double breaker certainly helps. Zombie Carnival, we play a lot of Guardians, so, you know, we just call Guardian off Zombie Carnival, and maybe it's a plus three. <laughs> <laughs> it's also just fun to say, Zombie Carnival. So, <laughs> so that's another reason why we play it. It's just really funny, and yeah. Alrighty, so now we will talk about the namesake of the deck, Hydro Hurricane. Hydro Hurricane, I think, is a card that you don't you normally don't play on turn 6 or 7. I think it comes out a lot later in the game when your board state is getting out of control, shall we say. <laughs> I think Hydro Hurricane a lot of the time feels like a win more card. Like you already have a really strong board state and then you just Hydro Hurricane to, you know, get rid of all your opponent's mana and then they yeah. can't do anything. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I feel it's not really a win more card because if your opponent has is overwhelming you with like big creatures or something like that and they have a lot of creatures well if you use the bounce effect with darkness in conjunction with the mana bounce 
then it gets rid of their creatures and it stops them from playing them again. Yeah. So I actually really like Hydro Hurricane for the, the darkness bounce effect. Hydro Hurricane is not the only card that we use to remove our opponent's creatures. We are also playing three copies of Heilige Erfjord, or Holio. Again, I apologize for the pronunciation. So, Holy All, we really like three copies because with Petrova, it basically functions as an apocalypse vice. It just lets us remove our opponent's creatures, we attack over them with our strong blockers, and it's also a clutch shield trigger. Now, speaking of shield triggers, we are also running three copies of Terrapit, unconditional spot removal. Terrapit is just good. <laughs> it's good. Uh, I think the deck was really crazy when it was running three Terra Pits and three copies of Miraculous Snare. It was just too easy to remove <laughs> the opponent's <laughs> creatures, so we, we cut it down. And lastly, we, we have two copies of Velor in Seal. So, Lost Soul. Lost Soul is very good. This deck does not have much in the way of Mana Ramp, so we really don't want to play more than two copies of Lost Soul, but you know... Quite often, Lost Soul is a really nice follow-up to Hydro Hurricane, because uh, we just bounced so many cards. <laughs> but other, other than that, the Lost Soul is, well, it's just generally good. It finds its way into all our control decks. So here's a bird's eye view of the deck. As you can see, there are a lot of Guardians. Uh, the way we want to play this deck is we actually want to hold off summoning the Origiga and Marrow Ooze early in the game. Usually, unless we're trying to fend off aggro, it is better to wait for Mysterious to play them. The early drops we're going to want are Palolysis and perhaps Miraculous Snare, depending on what our opponent has out, or, you know, some, or in this case, Tajamal, because our snare is limited to one. Energy Stream, also not too bad, and then it just flows into Locomotiver and Mysterious. Uh, usually, I feel like Energy Stream helps us find the mystery. Yes, yeah, yeah, it definitely does. Uh, I, I feel like the name of the game of this deck is to just find ways to stick Palolysis, Petrova, and Mysterious, and then we're off to the races. Yeah, definitely. I, I think um, once you have those three out, it's really hard for your opponent to get rid of them. Because mm. um, they all have valuable targets, and especially when you consider uh, the power boost that releases and Petrova provides, your opponent can't use their board wipes as well, so <laughs> it's, a, it's yeah. a bad time. I honestly can't stress enough how strong the combination of Paolo, Elises, and Petrova is. I feel like they just win games on their own, yeah. like they, they don't need Hydro Hurricane, but Andrew, you had a really good point about Hydro Hurricane. Yeah, so Hydro Hurricane, I feel like it is really necessary because once you do get off the Hydro Cane with, say, like, four or five um, light creatures, your opponent will be down that four or five mana. So even if you break into their shields and give them, you know, the cards that um, they want, uh, they can't play them. So if they can't play them, then they can't mount that comeback. So it is really uh, mm. crucial to play the Hydro Cane and cement your win. In terms of matchups, I think this deck beats most things, honestly. Uh, we were debating about whether we should have this in our format just because of how strong of a concept it is. Uh, I think the other players were able to step up their game and with the, the nerf yeah, to, to, to one Miraculous yeah. Snare and I guess even 40 cards, I, I think it is a little bit more balanced. Uh, it beats most things, but in general, what it struggles with, it would struggle with Scarlet Sky Terror, it would struggle with Crystal Paladin, and even cards like Windax and Gallic can be a bit of a thorn in the deck side, just because they ignore the power boosts. Yeah, and also I feel like um, this card also can hamper the deck a bit, because you're not having too many um, draw cards yourself. Yeah, there's no way to accelerate, to get Mysterious yep. out early, yep. and if they can just, you know, Remove rip it, it yeah. then, uh-oh, you're, you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. You do have uh, quite a few cards that you don't want to top deck, so like Maru's and Laura Giga, uh, or even one of these, uh, they're not so good. Um, so it can be um, Brick City sometimes, but <laughs> <laughs> most of the times, as long as you get these, again, once again, I guess the, the key takeaway of this deck is stick Baloesis, stick Petrova, and then it doesn't really matter afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> or else I'm just real, so. yeah. For other options, I guess you could try playing Eureka Charger. You know, it might help, you know, ramp a, a little bit quicker. But in my testing, it hasn't really been that good. Um, 
I haven't been able to squeeze in more than two or three copies. And even then I, I felt like the other cards that I was giving up were, were more important. Um, but there, there's an option for you there. Another thing you could do is you could actually play Morbid Medicine over Zombie Carnival. Uh, Zombie Carnival has good meme potential, but the thing with Morbid Medicine is that you have to think about how many things are you getting from your Zombie Carnival most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess that would depend on your local metagame or environment. Uh, the, the advantage of Morbid Medicine is that, well, if you're not getting three things off Zombie Carnival most of the time, you actually have the option to grab a Guardian and Petrova. So I think that's something that's you should think about. Uh, in terms of cheap removal, I think Spiral Gate is a card that I just wanted to at least talk about. I thought about replacing, you know, the extra miraculous snares with Spiral Gate, but you know, I like the light mana from Tajamal. So that's the list. Hope you guys enjoyed our coverage of this very famous archetype. Again, shoutouts to German Duel Masters, and I'll leave links to their coverage of Hydro Hurricane in the description. I hope we didn't butcher your list. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> but as usual, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time.